Life is just a series of moments. Sometimes we're prepared for them, and sometimes we're not. Let's see if this new travel wear line captures the moment. So the good people over at Moment sent over their new MTW line. You guys know Moment. They make these camera cases with the lenses on the front, basically like, you know, turn your cell phone into a DSLR. We're gonna test this in another video. They just sent this out to me for me to test, but we're not talking about cameras. They saying that this is not a camera bag. This is a everyday carry pack, so we're gonna judge it as such. So let's get to the review of this MTW backpack. This is 21 liters right here. It's a good 21 liters. When I pop this open, open the box, I like the aesthetic. Everything was black, all black, everything. I'm feeling it, I like it. Let's talk about the dimensions for a second. This thing is 18.7 inches tall. It's 11. 0.4 inches wide and it can expand out to a depth of 5.5 inches. I think that this is a great everyday carry size. Good for a girl or a boy. So I like that. The weight on this pack is 2.15 pounds, so that is good as well. I like the weight. Now, the materials is something new, something that I kind of haven't had a lot of experience with, but I'm telling you from my tactile feel of this, it feels really good. We're at 600D recycled nylon, nylon and they say it's a Kodra, not Cordura but Kodra. So it, it has that feel of Cordura a little bit, just a little bit, but it's definitely, a, it's a recycled material and I believe it's recycled out of water bottles. Somebody might get me in the comments, but recycled out of water bottles. Inside, we're gonna talk about the interior lining. It's a 210 nylon Oxlin, which is just okay. It's not the best I've ever seen. Green Room 136 is probably one of the best packs I've ever seen in the inside and they use a 410 so this is like half of that and let's go ahead and dive right into the main section because that's what everybody wants to see but before we get to the main section we got to talk about the zippers all right so these are YKK zippers right here on this pack but they're YKK but they're really small I don't know what size they are I mean these are really small YKK zippers. The pools on them are kind of small as well. And then the cord that they put on there is not paracord, it's like just a regular nylon cord. It does have a dual zipper though. So that is nice. I like the overall aesthetic. It's got a little, you know, punk in it. The, the main section right here is like a, it, it's an unbalanced zip, right? Because let me slide this out the way. So when you unzip it, it unzips more on this side than it does on this side. And then when you pull it back, it kind of half opens that way. So that's how you get into it. So let's talk about the interior. We already said it's a 210 nylon Oxlin. And inside here, this is a regular document folder that I keep because you know I EDC this. When I go to a meeting, <laughs> I need something to put my papers in. This is the uh, Sony XM3s, yes. The Sony XM4s are out. Your boy is waiting to get them, but you know, I can't tell my wife about that yet. So I uh, spent a lot of money this week. So inside of here, it's kind of open. On the lid of the pocket, you do have a little pocket right here. The mesh on here is good. Again, with the smaller zippers though, if you guys could see that, not really feeling the small zipper. So inside this mesh feels good. This is a large pocket. Let me flip around a little bit. This is a large pocket that you can use right here. So I'm actually liking this pocket and I think it's a good quick access because we'll talk about it a little later. We're missing a quick access pocket on the outside of this pack. So this is the closest kind of thing to that is having the little pocket on the top. So once you unzip the top of the bag right here, I bumped the camera, my bad. So once you unzip the, the, the top of the bag right there, you can get access to this, which is, you know, the next best thing. There is a pocket right here, but that kind of doubles as your admin. We're gonna get into that. So you open this up. Now, what Moment has done is they've included 
you know, a couple of options. Like I said, this is not a camera back. Moment me sure I was to tell you guys, this is not a camera back. Okay, it's not a camera back moment. I got you. But you do give me a camera cube that fits into this bag. So this is their camera cube. And it's a pretty excellent camera cube. I actually like this a lot, you know. So I like when bags have attachments. And this one is pretty nice. It's, it's rigid as hell. And it's got a couple of grab points on it. It's black, all black. And it's got them same small zippers on it. Wish that was different. And then you'll see these little attachments right here. Now I brought this in because I, for a specific reason, I'm just not talking out of turn. This attaches inside of this bag. So what you do is you take these little uh, attachments and you hook them in to the, these little bungees right here. Now you can see this one right here broke. I think I used this bag all of, I wanna say 12 hours and it broke when I, when I try to attach it in. So there's a lifetime warranty. So I guess I'll be sending it in for that. But I'm not going to make a big deal out of that. But I just want to let you know, me just, you know, regular use, it it, it popped up. It popped the, the little attachment point. So inside of here, I like it. I like it. So we got high vis lining inside this camera cube. Great for content creators. Great for just, hey, I'm taking pictures of the birds in the park. So, you know, high vis lining. It's got two adjustable dividers in here. Some guys are photography guys and some guys are not. So I'm gonna be quick with this. So if you wanna, you know, a little bit more detail on the photography side, you're gonna have to check it out on the website. This is a 10 8 by 18 Canon lens. And this is, this is a 55 to by 250 Canon lens as well. My EOS R will fit in here with the body. I can put my uh, 17 to 55 Canon lens in here. And then I like what they did with the dividers. So let me pull one out, right? So in these dividers, you have a place where you can slip your ND filters. For you guys that don't do a lot of photography, ND filters like sunglasses for your lenses. So basically, when you're filming outside, it doesn't look like shit. So basically, that can film, so each, each lens has to have a separate ND filter. That's why photography is so damn expensive. Anyway, this is a pretty awesome little camera lens uh, case for on the go, or camera cube. All of the, all of the MTW line has a little, you know, MTW right there. If you guys can check that out, that's pretty slick. Not in love with the little zippers though. But this is just one of the attachments that they sent for this bag. Not attachments, but accessories they sent for this bag. But it attaches in, it would attach in if it didn't break in the first 12 hours. So that's pretty slick. Um, I like that. Now, that's kind of the only thing going on in this main section so yeah we're done with that so we're gonna move on to this we'll go into the front pocket and we'll talk about the the front there's that mtw right there let me pull it up close to the camera that's that mtw right there so you guys can see it's branded on all of this stuff now we'll talk about this front pocket right here well <laughs> small zippers on this as well and what they did is like kind of like a double organizer in here. So you got an organizer on this side where you got two slip pockets and two pin pockets right there. And then you have a little pocket over here. Now the mesh in here feels really good. So I really like that. But then you have on the other side, it's kind of hard to see in here. That's why I wanted to do a top down view is you have a zippered pocket, which is really large. So you can kind of see the size of that, hopefully. And I was able to stick in the Huggies wipes. Gotta get up on the dude wipes, but you know, I just haven't, you know, I ain't got my payday yet, guys. And then <laughs> uh, watertight, I hit the camera again. Watertight Adventure Medical Kit always rides with me. So you can kind of see why I say this is not a camera bag, cause it has just regular backpack stuff in it. So that's pretty slick. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't know about the sideways organization right here. Like if you're, I mean, if you're slinging it to the side and then you get in this way, cool. But just 
laying it back down and trying to get to yourself to your stuff can be kind of cumbersome just saying you know can it kind of be kind of cumbersome to go in i have done other bags that had this style of organizer and they're just okay they're not the best they're not the worst but they put it in there so you guys will have to kind of judge that on your own what what it is now also on this outside of the bag you don't have anything on this side. I would have liked to seen a little pocket or something, something I could stick my wallet in, my AirPods, but on this side of the bag, there is nothing. <laughs> on this side of the bag, you got a water bottle pocket. Now, with the water bottle pocket, this is a 32 ounce, 32 ounce now jean bottle. Let's see if it fits. It's always a question, right? Is it gonna fit? Is it not gonna fit? Yeah. We're in there like swimwear. So <laughs> that's that's pretty nice. You know, f forgive my cheesy comments, whatever. But this, that's, that's a pretty nice water bottle pocket. It's got nice elastic to it. It's expandable in the back there. If you guys can kind of see. So that's slick. Um, let's talk about the grab handle right here. Damn, I'm up close. Yeah, the grab handle right there. Um, it's a step up from a regular piece of nylon webbing. It's wide enough, it's big enough for my big hands, if you guys can see. Definitely, uh, like, it's folded over a piece of nylon webbing there, so it makes it a little thicker. I like it. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, it's bar tack stitched. It feels pretty good. Now, let's move down to these shoulder straps. Oh boy. <laughs> these shoulder straps are a little bit too thin moment. I know this is moments kind of like first attempt out at a bag. So, you know, we gotta give them some lead way on the bag. So, but the shoulder straps are kind of uh, kind of thin. So let's pull the sternum strap, which is on a slider system, which is this okay. You know, this plastic hardware feels pretty good. And it's an interesting way that they decided to put that in. It kind of snaps in like that. If you guys can see, there's a clip on the back and then there's a rail system right here. And then you kind of just clip it into that rail system. And then it slides not so freely up and down. So you're kind of locked in. So not a bad, bad thing. And you can pull it off both sides. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. You guys know I throw away or can't can remove the sternum strap. But back to these shoulder straps, let's talk about it. The width of them is good. The contour of them is good. The padding is not so great. The padding is, it's kind of um, hard and it's really just not padded well enough, you know? Um, don't know about them over time. They are vented on the back, nice mesh. And then we do on the back panel, I think the idea is, some, is sound, the design of this is sound. Uh, got some raised channels right here. Uh, right here running on the back and then you have some rib foam. So I definitely like that. I like the, the design I just wish the foam behind the raised channels was just a little bit thicker um, But you know you you, you can't complain about everything you, you do have a luggage pass through right here So you can slide this onto a piece of luggage now you're carrying two bags at once You know I'm jet setting out here in these streets. So, you know, this thing is kind of prepared for for that you know it's prepared for travel now before we get to this last pocket let's go ahead and talk about some of these other accessories that moment provided us you know i'm, I'm just messing the whole thing up ain't i but whatever legal we'll talk about the smallest one first this so this is the mini tech pouch so i don't have the dimensions on this same little zippers on the outside wish they were a little bigger still have that moment branding right there which is Okay, I like it stitched in, definitely, definitely. Same Kodra um, recycled material on the outside, and I've already opened it, so you saw what was inside. I think that they took a cue from the Peak Designs tech pouch in this, and it's not a bad cue right here because the fabric in the inside is excellent, the, the organizers. This is designed kind of just my minimalist, my minimalist, you know, tech pouch. This is what I'm carrying. YKK zipper. So I got my Olight, little Olight right here. This is the I5T 
EOS. They always got to give them them crazy ass names. I don't know why. Oh, like, why are you doing that? And then I also put in the all black, all black Benchmade bug out. Just got that thing, man. That's, that kind of fit with the moment. That's, you see what I did there? <laughs> I'm taking from Nick Shabazz. You see what I did there? Anyway, so this is a longer USB-C cord right here. G2 Pilot pin. This is a regular USB cable. And, you know, uh, anchor battery over here. If you ever want to check out any of my stuff, check the links in the description. Click on those links. Yeah. And then, so this is, this is, this is very minimalist. You know, very lightweight. You're not a tech guy. I just need stuff to run my phone just, you know, keep me charged up. That's what this thing is all about. I, I like the minimalist aspect of that. And you can slide it in, you know, to the admin park pocket right here in the front. Kind of stick it in there. Boom. I'm ready for the day. Or this is not enough. I need something bigger, George. I'm, I, I'm a real, I'm a real techie. So they got a situation for that too. So this is the regular tech. Mini tech, regular tech. See the size difference. <laughs> this is almost the size of the Peak Designs tech pouch, but it's got a little bit of differences. So still same small zippers on the outside, not feeling it. We already talked about that. Why wide open, it lays, it fillets. <laughs> That's my new word guys, fillets. So it fillets open right here and same high quality material in here. So I, in this pocket, you got a slip pocket here. I just stuck in my old Apple iPhone. That's my work phone. Um, and then I got a bigger anchor battery that I stuck in there. And then I got my cord essentials, USB regular, USB type C. These spandex pockets right here are a little large for just cords. So you could probably stick some other stuff in there. And then you got a little flap. Flip it over. Yeah, I'm James Bond on the weekends. So right here, I have the Lumatop EDC tool stuck in there. These are some Samsung earbuds because why Samsung do you have to have? Why did you get rid of the earphone jack? Why? Why, why, why? Anyway, so we have the Spyderco Delico on the end. Same kind of setup. And then we have another whole pocket on this side where I... You know, I didn't really stick anything because I didn't need it, that pocket, because I just had so much organization. And then I also have a little charging block back here for Samsung. There's a theme there. Um, smaller YKK zips inside. I actually like this. The tech pouches and the, the camera case cube. I'm feeling the accessories. I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna save them and reserve my full opinion to the end of the video. So that's that. Now. Going back to the creator. So if you're the creator, you want the camera cube, right? What, I mean, for creators, for the guys that are running those cameras, one thing that is always a challenge for us is batteries. We gotta have batteries to run the monitors, the, the, the mics, the lights, the camera, all of that. Moment got you kind of taken care of right here. They got, a specific camera organizer. So that's pretty pretty dope. So what makes it specific? Like what makes this different from any other organizer, George? Cause I just use whatever organizer, that's what I put my camera stuff in. Well, <laughs> they got this, you know, kind of dead battery, good battery system right here. So the dead batteries go in the, the zipper with the red. So those, those, those are the dead batteries. So I have a dead, Canon EOS R battery right here that I slipped in. And then the good batteries go on the top. And it's the same kind of pocket. They're kind of just laid on top of each other there. So if I stick my fingers, my fingers aren't touching. It's kind of the same pocket. It's pretty cool, inventive design. And then as the battery goes flying, and then this is where you put your charging block. So this is the charger for my Canon EOS R that I stuck in there. So that's pretty slick, I like that. Now on the other side, they got some options here. So this is a regular NP batteries. These guys that do cameras know about NP batteries. This is like a regular size one. This is not the extra big one. So these run like lights, 
cameras, monitors, all of that. And then on this side, I got my Rode Video Micro. That's the, the microphone I started this YouTube channel with, or one of the first, I really started on my cell phone. And then back here, you have some places to put some USB drives and, you know, a pen in there as well. So, damn, see, that's the only thing. See, as I close in this, these pockets are so large that, that my stuff is just jumping out. So, you know, it's all about the real here. S certain things, if they malfunction on camera, I'm not going to cut it out. I'm just going to show it because when it comes to you, you're going to deal with the same thing at home. So this is a decent, you know, decent organization right here for your, your batteries. So all in all, there's a couple of things. One thing we didn't talk about is my tablet. In this bag, there's no place for a tablet. So let's open up. We missed the pocket, right? Because I got distracted and went to something else. But this is your AquaGuard zipper on the back of this backpack right here. So you got a zipper that goes all the way around and it opens up. So you got more organization in here as well. In here, I put in my my charger for my laptop. Got a this is a Sharpie, zebra pen, and then here I put a mouse. So regular guy doing my regular stuff. And back here is my 15 inch Dell XPS. I tried a 17 inch laptop. For those guys that have been asking me about a 17 inch laptop, I specifically went out and got a dead 17 inch laptop so I could put them in these backpacks when I review them. But it does not fit in this backpack. And I think Moment says it on their website, it will take a 16 inch laptop and that's what it will fit. This is a 15 inch laptop, it fit. 17 is a no-go. And I know that can be disappointing for a lot of creators because they like the bigger screen when they create. So that's this 15 inch, it is suspended off the bottom. I wish it was kind of padded up a little bit more. There's some thin padding there, but you know, with these creator laptops, we're talking about two, maybe three grand. You like to have that a little protected, a lot protected. So that's that. That's the last pocket on this bag. What are we, what are we talking about as far as numbers, George? Give me the numbers. That's what a lot of folks is at home saying. Give me the numbers. You know, don't don't tell me all of this stuff and, and don't give me the numbers. I need the numbers. And that's that's kind of where I'm at with stuff too. I want the numbers. Ask my wife, I'm like, how much is it gonna cost? <laughs> how, mu how much is it gonna cost? So let me run down the prices for you guys on this stuff. Hopefully I don't bump the camera too, too bad, but you know, top view is a challenging thing. So on the backpack right now, if you get it, it's on Kickstarter. So if you get it now, it is $149. And if you wait, you're gonna pay $180. George, should I buy the backpack for $150? Moment, moment. I like, I like y'all's personality. Y'all doing a lot for the consumer and the creator, but I gotta say no. $150 for this is no. I think it's a good attempt. But I'm not gonna tell folks out there to buy a $150 backpack that broke in the first 12 hours when I had it. And there's some other issues with this pack. Let me let me let me back up. So when you stick this camera cube in here and you have just I don't have anything else in this bag. Just my cam this camera cube I'm about to stick in there and my laptop. Stick it in there and you see what happens. This bag becomes almost, it, com it becomes almost to the point where you can't close it. And I was fighting with it. It wants to split the seams right there. That's just with your specific camera cube. So, honesty. <laughs> we talked about it in the beginning. That's why I opened the way I did. This, this pack is a great attempt, but... There's some things that need to be worked out. Leader independency is what I talk about a lot of times in videos when bags don't bags don't think about using the accessories that they create or pockets that they create and how they work together. So now let's run down the prices on the rest of this these items because I want to give a full a full 
you know, kind of review. The camera insert is MSRP, 100 bucks. Right now on Kickstarter, you can get it for 70 bucks. I think this is great. I think this is a great way to go, um, even if you use it in another backpack. The tech organizer, the big joint, you know, the one that's as big as the Peak Design tech pouch. This right here goes for 50 bucks right now on Kickstarter. It will be 70 bucks if you don't buy it now, on, not off of Kickstarter. Now, <laughs> the ones that I get confused, the mini tech pouch, which I think this one is, and the battery organizer. The mini tech pouch is 39 bucks. Yeah, 39 bucks. Get it on Kickstarter for 25 bucks. And the battery organizer, I'm gonna throw it up in the up in the up on the screen right now because I can't get it in front of me. I'm unprepared. God damn it. I'm unprepared. But that's what it is. I'll put it up on the screen right now. It'll be flashing. But yeah, man, I think they came out with a strong idea. You know, it's like you create an idea and then you actually have to turn it into what you thought it was going to be. And there are some things I think they were trying to keep it under a certain price point and some things just didn't come all the way together. And that's, you know, the all black theme was a win. It's always going to be a win. The execution was just okay to be honest. Thanks for watching George the Fine guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It gets the video spread out. It goes out to more people so everybody can kind of see what's going on with these new EDC backpacks and EDC gear. If you love the video, subscribe to the channel. Always got room for more subscribers. And down in the comments, yes, down there in those comments, we're talking about everyday carry knives, backpacks, flashlights, all of that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.